There's been a lot of talk recently how Apple selling new computers with 8 gigs of RAM is weird and wrong, and it's simply not enough for modern computers. And I gotta say, I kind of agree. 8 gigs for a new computer sounds very weird, considering a lot of the Macs sold 10 years ago had 8 gigs of RAM. However, I've been using my M1 MacBook Air for a while now, and this thing has 8 gigabytes of RAM. And I gotta say it handles quite a bit for a base model MacBook Air, so I figured let's give it a little stress test and see how much a base model with 8 gigabytes of RAM can actually handle before it starts freezing. We'll start with playing a YouTube video, and I know people are worried about their internet browsing, so I'll open a bunch of tabs in another browser window here. Then let's open Spotify and play some music and let's also open a raw photo of my cat in Photoshop. Everything feels still responsive and normal, no lagging whatsoever. Here's a 4K video file. Let's play that in quick time. YouTube video is still going strong, Photoshop is still responsive. Let's see what else can we open. This is a video I edited for a client. Let's open Final Cut Pro and see how that works. Scrubbing through the timeline, everything plays back smooth. No issues. Let's change the quality setting to better quality. Still smooth. Let's open up After Effects, and I'm sure a lot of people have mail open in the background all the time. I'm gonna do music and app store as well, and maybe calendar too. Web browsing is still smooth. Looks like After Effects failed to launch, so I'll try that again.
Now, one thing this computer does struggle with is After Effects. If I have a lot of layers and animations going on, it can't really do a smooth preview. But this is one of my recent videos. It's a 4K timeline, and it feels okay. Usually, I have to lower the resolution for better playback, but overall, I could work with this. And normally, I wouldn't have all this other stuff going in the background. Looking at my memory usage, it looks like I have a little bit of free memory available, but a lot of the stuff I'm doing is using swap memory. What that means is that when your computer runs out of RAM, it will start using your hard drive as an extension of your memory. Traditionally, swap memory is always slow and really slows you down, but it feels like with Apple Silicon, it's not very noticeable. I would have never known if I didn't see it here. I've used this thing for like a year, but I've never really stress tested it like this. It's working way better than I thought. I was sure after Final Cut or After Effects, everything would start to feel sluggish, but it's still super smooth. I'm running out of apps to launch, but let's see what else we can throw at this thing. Keynote, news, numbers, text edit, Apple TV. This freaking thing still works. Cat is responsive. Final cut is still smooth. Let me just make sure I'm not using proxies. Yeah, no, it's using original 5K media. And YouTube is still going strong. Browsing feels smooth. And here's an overview of what this MacBook Air is currently running. Now, just to be clear, I'm not trying to defend Apple, and I do think their pricing for RAM upgrades is pretty steep. But I wanted to do this test because I see a lot of folks online asking if 8GB is enough, and they get screamed at saying absolutely not. You'll need to upgrade. I have a MacBook Pro with 64 gigabytes of RAM, and it absolutely performs better when I'm doing motion graphics or heavy video editing, but for 90% of the people out there who don't do heavy work on their computer eight hours a day, these base models actually perform better than you'd think. Look at this. Here's all the apps I'm running. And let's not forget I'm running a screen recording on a 5K studio display, which probably puts some strain on the computer as well. Anyways, hope that was helpful if you're trying to figure out whether the base model is enough for you or if you need to upgrade your RAM. Thanks for watching.